Good evening, my name is Juan Cruz. I'm here to talk about the ATM. First off, what is an ATM? An ATM is simply a data terminal with two input and four output devices. Like any other data terminal, the ATM has to connect to and communicate through a host processor. The host processor is analogous to an internet service provider in that it is the gateway through which all various ATM networks become available to the cardholder or the person wanting cash. Most host processors can support either lease line or dial up machines. Lease line machines connect directly to the host processor through a four wire point to point dedicated telephone line. Dial up ATMs connect to the host processor through a normal phone line using the modem and a toll free number or through an internet service provider using the local access number dialed by modem. Let's talk about the components that create an ATM. There are eight major components on an ATM. I'll list them off and tell you a little bit about each component. The card reader captures the account information stored on the magnetic stripe on the back of an ATM debit or credit card. The host processor uses this information to route the transaction to the cardholder's bank. Next, the keypad. The keypad lets the cardholder tell the bank what kind of transaction is required and for what amount, cash withdrawal, flat, balance inquiry, etc. Also, the bank requires the cardholder personal identification number or PIN number for verification. Federal law requires that the PIN block be sent to the host processor in encrypted form. The speaker. The speaker provides the cardholder with an auditory feedback when the key is pressed. A display screen. The display screen prompts the cardholder through each step of the transaction process. These line machines commonly use a monochrome or color display. Dial-up machines commonly use a monochrome or color LCD. The receipt printer. A receipt printer provides the cardholder with a paper receipt of the transaction. And finally, the cash dispenser, the heart of an ATM. It's the safe and cash dispensing mechanism that usually the entire bottom portion of most small ATMs is a safe and that contains the cash. Why did I choose the ATM? I chose this system because I believe there isn't a person in the world that does not use an ATM at least once a month. They are helpful to many banks because in some cases they replace an actual employee and handle the smaller and time consuming transactions while an actual employee can focus on the larger transactions that might bring in more revenue. One of the open sources that I found for ATMs is Albatross. It's a uh, you can locate them at www.albatross. That's a l b a t r o s s. Arrow. It's pretty much a community. It's an open source community. It was launched by ATM professionals and open source enthusiasts. So if you like more information on that. Just visit www.albatross.era. Thank you for your time. Good evening.